music going YouTube this is what is inside my PS4 since I bought this on November 15th 2013 I had I bought it day one but um before we start before we start I'm gonna uh, show you how much storage I have on my PS4 um, I, I had put around a 2 terabyte hard drive in my PS4 like um, I think maybe the first six months that I got it because I ran out of space very quick because Call of Duty Ghost took up about like 50 gigs I think and then um, Battlefield 4 took around 50 gigs but then when I um, switched a hard drive around um, I lost a lot of like my images and um, videos from the capture gallery I lost some save data themes because I, I really didn't care about wasting like stupid like a stupid amount of space on dumb things so I still have like 470 gigs available but this is what I got um I was playing a little bit of Child of Light before this is a good game but uh the like the fighting scenes like when you fight like the monsters seems a little it's too boring for me I don't like that much I mean 2K16 maybe my most played game alongside Black Ops 3 this year I just bought Star Wars Battlefront yesterday. I bought it for twenty dollars off Best Buy because I think the sale ends today, like at twelve maybe. But this, I don't want to say this is a great game because it is so empty. I had fun with the gameplay, but I saw the season pass. Um, was how much was it? I think maybe forty or fifty, and you get like sixteen maps. There's more maps in the season pass than in the game. Doom demo, I was trying it out because I heard that the Doom is actually a really good game. I want to get it. After playing the demo, it, it has like the same type of movement, but like from the original Doom, it has like the same type of movement. That's what I'm trying to say, but it's so smooth. Black Ops 3, there's not much you can say about this. I really like Call of Duty Black Ops 3 this year, but I'm hyped up for Infinite Warfare. Timefall 2, this is what I'm hyped up for the most. This game is awesome. Far Cry 4, I loved it. Not buying Primal because it's the same exact thing, same map. God War 3 Remastered, I played it in 2009 when it came out. Decided to play it again. It looks pretty, it looks really good, especially with the uh, 1080p upscale. Fallout 4, I'm still not done with it. I don't think I could ever finish this game. I think I'm like maybe 10 hours in, I think. Battlefield 4, I love this game, but not enough of my friends had it. Not enough had it. Tales from the Borderlands, I love this game too. I like most Telltale games, I like I still didn't get to play the new Batman though. Uh, Resident Evil 7, this game scared the shit out of me. And I can't wait for 7. I cannot wait for the full game to come out. The Platinum demo, I like this. I like the, uh, I'm not that much of a fan of the demo, I don't like it that much, but it was pretty fun. Like, some parts are fun. Kind of got a little repetitive for me at point at some points, but yeah. Let me play three. <laughs> I got this game because I bought one and two uh, when it came out for the PS3, like when I was um, way younger. And I got three because I think it was on sale for like four or five dollars. Trying out PlayStation Now was pretty good. I heard I've been taking out games from the collection though. The Order. Oh wow, I said the Order. Wow, the Order 1886. I think it really should have just been a movie. Like the gameplay was so bad it, that the gameplay was horrible. Um, the game was really short actually, so that that's true. The game was really short, but it was really boring. I I would rather have just sat back on my couch and just watch like a movie because it would have made for a great movie because the story was good, but the gameplay was so boring. Like there was nothing to it. Um, Hardware Rivals. Oh, you're going to see a lock on some of these games. Um, they're from PS Plus, so the ones that don't have a lock next to the start icon, the ones that don't have it are going to be um, games that I actually bought. These are um, locked from PlayStation Plus. Hardware Rivals are basically a clone of Rocket League. Outlast, I still didn't get to finish this game because I was scared I was playing it. I had this one friend. You can check out his YouTube channel. His name is Iskender1000. This dude beat this game multiple times on each difficulty. I don't know how we got the balls to play this game. Oh, God. Rocket League, an awesome, fun game to play with your friends. Ooh, it's so much fun. Advanced Warfare, uh, my most hated Call of Duty. Honestly, like, even, I like Ghosts way more than this. Zombie, I played this on my Wii U before I sold my Wii U. I think I sold my Wii U for $500 on eBay. When was it? I think, um... It had to be 2014, late 2014, early 2015, I sold my Wii U. 
I played Zombie on it. It was fun a little bit on the Wii U, but started playing it on the PS4, and I didn't like it that much. I realized its flaws. I saw its flaws. It doesn't look that good. Flower is the most chill game you can have. Just know. Relaxation, right there. Minecraft. Um, when I feel like building something, like maybe I feel like in, I'm like in a creative mood, then I'll play it by myself, but playing this game by yourself isn't too much fun. Like maybe if you're recording and like trying to make a funny video out of it, or if you're talking to friends, playing with friends, and it's fun. This game, just forget about this game. I bought it for like 80 cents off the PlayStation Store. PT! I still got this. One of the lucky few got it downloaded when it came out. Scary. Well, um, well, yeah, this was scarier than the Resident Evil 7 demo, and it's scarier than Outlast. But I still played it and threw my controller in the air. Fez. Oh, I really like this game. I didn't get to finish it. My PS Plus ran out. I might buy it again. I don't know if I should get PS Plus again. Or Cause I've been playing Black Ops 3 and all these multi multiplayer games online. Cause I thought you needed a PS Plus to play online, and that's how it was. And I couldn't play before, but now this year, since my PS Plus has ran out like two months ago, I've been able to play online. So I don't see the point of getting PS Plus for their bad games. I don't need it. Tropico 5. I'm into games like Civilization and like city building games. Like on my PC, I have um I have Civilization. I also have Tropico 5. Um, I have City Skylines. So, I didn't play that much on the PS4. I don't, I don't want to start like a new game from like the PC and the PS4, so I just leave it there. I download it for fun. Super Meat Boy is awesome. Very frustrating because I sometimes you die. Never got to start this because it looks stupid. No offense to the developers. I'm just saying I didn't get to start yet. Maybe I'll play with my friends, my little cousins. 2K15 was awesome when it came out. Didn't get to play this yet. Hotline Miami is great. I like it so, like, it reminds you so much of the retro, like, what was it? No, it's 8-bit, right? Like, the 8-bit art style, I love that. That Nation, this, is ha this has got to be, like, my favorite indie next to Rezogon. And, um, what was the name of the developers? Housemark, they made this game, um, uh, it's like, it's like a planet. It's two, is it, it's, it's a 2D planet, you see it from the outside, and you see, like, a ship hovering around it, like, all over, and you're trying to... Something with Galaxy, I don't know the name. Not this Galaxy, I never played this. Bro Force, Bro Force was pretty fun, but I got locked, sadly. Um, Firewatch, I was so hyped for this game. When I was playing the game, I had a lot of fun with the story and like um, the art style was amazing. But really, the ending let me down so much, it made the whole game not worth it. Because I was like grinding and grinding throughout the whole game, like looking forward to the end to see what happens throughout the story. And then it just, ended it like it just ended like that and i never even got to see who delilah was oh that's a spoiler alert. my bad all tell dawn was great but i had this um friend watching with me playing the game with me he came over my house and he spoiled everything throughout the whole game he's like go here go here go here i'm like how do you know oh i saw the walkthrough all right so get the fuck out of the house um drive club was awesome well no no drive club no i'm sorry i'll take that back I didn't like the controls that much. The like, graphics were great. That's what I mean by awesome. The graphics were really good. But the gameplay, I didn't like that much. I I like playing Forza Horizon. Forza Motorsport is fun too, but Horizon it takes a cake. That's a really good game. Rogue Legacy was pretty fun. I don't have that much to say about this because I like Shovel Knight way better. Bloodborne is really good. I have it on disc, but I still didn't get to finish it. It's pretty hard. I, I didn't get to finish Dark Souls yet. Walking Dead Season 2, this is what brought me into the Walking Dead series. You're not going to see Season 1 on my PS4 because I originally got these games on the Xbox One. They had a sale in 2015 or 2014 with the Telltale series. I think I bought both seasons for like $8 or $7. Guilty Gear, I got this on the PlayStation Store when it came out. It's a really fun fighting game. It's really good. After I, still get, I think I started this, but I didn't, like, I didn't like it that much when I first started the game. Like, I only, granted, I only played like 10 minutes. I didn't like it that much. Playroom, I don't know why I have this. Um, I don't have a PlayStation camera. Hell Divers, I heard this was a good game. I think even got a physical copy. But um, I didn't get to start it yet because I get all these indies and I don't have time to play them. And I don't know what the hell this is. This looks like a Telltale game. I heard it was like it. But I still got to start it. Maybe I want to get my PS Plus and we'll start it up again. This is a, isn't this a free game? I don't know if I should delete it. 
This, I don't know too much about. I just downloaded it off PS Plus. Magic, I started a little bit. Not that into it. Still haven't started Broken Age, but I know this is a fantastic game. Grow Home is awesome. Um, I think Grow Up is coming out soon, so I still gotta finish Grow Home. Grim Fandango, I love this game. I got it on the PC and the PS4. Mortal Kombat, um, I know it's mostly an online or like a co-op fighting game, but um, I was pretty bummed out about the story, which I shouldn't be surprised because it's a fighting game. It was pretty short. I think it was shorter than the order too. That's that's crazy. But other than that, I love the fatalities. I love ooh, when you fight somebody in that game. The X-rays and everything is awesome. Sticks still haven't started. Also got on the Xbox One. Haven't played Ali Ali either. I guess I don't know. I just downloaded my PS Plus. Maybe I'll play them one day. But I'm not that. I'm not too interested in them. Game of Thrones has got to be my favorite. Telltale. This and Walking Dead are awesome. Super Time Ultra. Still haven't played this. Metal Gear Solid Five. I have the. I have Metal Gear Solid Five on uh, the Phantom Pain on the PC because I got it with my GTX 970 when I bought it last year. But um, this one, I played it on the Xbox One more than the PS4. It's, still, it's the same as um, Fan Pain, so not much to say. It's still a great game. This, I don't know what the hell this is. Don't know what the hell that is. Don't know what the hell this is. This was awesome. Such an underrated Telltale game. This was a great Telltale game. I liked it so much. I didn't. I don't think. I don't even think I read the comics. I just play this like out of the blue. Really good game. Nope, do not know what that is. I think I saw this on E3 last year. I think you gotta, you gotta be smoking weed to be playing this game. That's all I know. The Unfinished Swan. Oh, I know this is a good game. I just didn't get time to play it yet. Guacamelee. I play this on my PS Vita. Um, I like it. It's a side scroll. Mm, not too much to it. Resident Evil Revelations. I think I just. I only have episode one, so I still gotta buy episode two, three, four. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Never Alone, still gonna play it, but I know it's good. Odd World, I remember the old Odd World games. Don't care that much for it. Valiant Hearts, I know this is a great game, still gonna start it. Oh, I have bought it, so I can play it too. Counter Spy was okay. Uh, Dying Light was a great game. So good. The open world, the way you maneuver around all obstacles over buildings and everything. The story was pretty good too. I just love the gameplay. The graphics were great, especially when you play it on, play it on the PC, play it, play it on the 1440p and like an Ultra, it looks great. Sound shapes are not into these type of games, and this either. Nope. I played Apotheon, not that good of a game, I really didn't like it. Transistor was pretty awesome, but I only played it for like a couple of hours. I, I think I should delete it and just buy it off the PlayStation Store. Didn't like stuffing too that much. I wasn't expecting this game to have blood in it, cause like there's some there's some of these little minion looking things that die, and <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. Lara Croft, I'm not into this. I think I got Diablo. This is supposed to be like Diablo, right? I got Diablo 3 on the PS4 on the Reaper of Souls. Limbo was really good, a pretty really good game. Um, I had to go through the mission so many times, like some parts I kept dying and dying and dying. Did not watch one walkthrough, so I could say that about myself. I didn't start from this first light yet, but I finished Second Son. Second Son was a great game. I did not expect the PS4 to have those graphics when um, it came out like what 2013, 2014. The particles are crazy. Slam and play the Swapper. Injustice was fun, but again, you gotta play with friends. You can't play fighting games by yourself, in my opinion. Contrast. I don't know why I still have this from 2013. I think I played it three years ago and I just dropped it automatically. This was really fun. I like the skate plan. Plants vs Zombies, uh, I played a little bit on the Xbox, I wasn't too into it, wasn't into this either. I really like Don't Starve, Don't Starve is a really good game. Dust was really good, Strider was really good too. Oh look at that, a, a string of four great games. Uh, Pixel Junk, did not like this. Resogun, best indie on the PS4. Pixel the Cat, did not like it. Secret Ponchos. Did not play it that much, and I did not like it either. Stick it to the man. I did not like this at all. Trying to try was fun. I liked it that much. I liked it a little bit. Roll not taken. Didn't play it. Did not like it. Spelunky was. Well, I think it was a pretty hard game, wasn't it? I played it a little bit. I don't remember it that much. Velocity. I'm not into it that much, but I played it a little bit. Didn't like it that much. Maybe it's not my style. Warframe, I liked it, but then I found that it was free to play because my cousin downloaded it on my PS4 and I was like, oh, what game is this? 
And I started playing it. It was pretty fun. But then I realized that uh, I had to pay to get ahead. So I was like, oh, you know what? Yeah. Out. Binding of Isaac. Did not like it. Did not like it that much. I really didn't. Neither Steam World. I don't like that much. Thomas was alone. I had I had some fun playing on my Vita. Did not like this. Towerfall Ascension. This was on my Ouya. This was so this is so fun to play on the Ouya. I did not expect this to be on the Ouya when I bought my Ouya. I mainly bought my Ouya to, because I saw this YouTube video by XBMC. I tried it out on there. And it wasn't... Ouya handled it pretty good. But like I think some mashup, I think it was called. It got, it got taken down, so I stopped using it. My Ouya is just collecting dust. Mainly use it for like retro gaming. Oh, uh, this is Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. I still didn't get it finished. I think maybe I'm halfway or a quarter of the way done. It's a pretty fun game, but... Like, I don't want to explain it. I have more fun playing this on my PC. Not that much on my PS4, because... Yeah. Diablo 3. I play this with my friends sometimes. Um, You can check out his channel. His name is Delta J. Um, Alien Isolation. Pretty scary game. Really good game, actually. Did not expect an Alien game to be pretty good. Tomb Raider was great, Definitive Edition was better, I think there was a lot of controversy between this game because it came out on Xbox One and PS4, PS4 ran at a high resolution and an unlocked frame rate, so people kept saying, oh PS4 the win, they're like, eh, X Bone sucks, I love both, I love both consoles, so Metro Redux, I think I finished 2033, I still gotta play Last Light, Ghost, I never play the campaign of Call of Duty, I just play multiplayer like zombies, I like I like Extinction, but that's all I like. The multiplayer was so, so flawed in this game. Single player, I played a little bit the campaign, because my friend always tells me, play it, play it. That's all he does play. I don't like it that much. I mean, it's it's like a Michael Bay movie, but still, I don't like it that much. Last of Us, this is this has got to be one of my favorite games ever, because Naughty Dog is honestly my favorite developer. Uncharted 4, it, 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 is, a, it is blasphemous that I still do not buy Uncharted 4. Unbelievable. I want to buy the collector's edition with Nathan Drake figure. I still got I want to buy that I don't want to buy just like the regular edition Second son I talked about this before great game pretty sad when he's um don't want to spoil it, but you know um, Dragon Age This game surprised me. It had really good graphics. I had fun playing the game um, the game. I'm still not done playing it, but it, it is really fun So that's what I got my ps4 uh, I might make a video. If you guys like this video, then um, I'll make another video about me showing you all, showing off my disc collection. Cause there are some games that did um, are not showing um, installed. You see the disc icon because I had to switch hard drives. So I have a bunch more discs on my. Um, I have this carrying case where I put my CDs in because um, I don't like keeping the di like the, the cases around my monitors and everything because it looks every makes everything look cluttered. So I just keep that in my drawer. So I might, I might make a video if um, people want to see it. Um, if you guys like the video, I'll make um, X, what's inside my Xbox or Vita or 3DS. I'll show all you guys. My 3DS is, uh, uh, is a system that has the most games because I buy a bunch of 3DS games. Not because I'm a casual, but I love 3DS games. Other than that, I hope you guys really like the video. Um, like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And until next time.